Belfast is a city going through regeneration and change. We have made huge strides forward from conflict. Regeneration has changed the look of the city. Waterfront Hall, Cathedral Quarter, Titanic Quarter and Victoria Centre. Communities are building new relationships with each other. Crime is on the decrease. However, many communities have been shaped by division, both physically and socially. Sectarianism continues to cause violence, intimidation and fear in our city. Interfaces still separate many of our communities. Some areas need investment. Graffiti, vandalism, dereliction, big city problems. And in recent years there have been several high-profile incidents of hate crime that have damaged our reputation. Roma families leaving Belfast. Polish homes attacked sectarian violence. We talked to people working on the issue of hate crime to see what is happening now. The only way you're ever going to get rid of racism is by reaching the communities where either they're afraid or they just don't know or there's someone whispering something in their ear. Um, there was a time when there was, there was a lot of trouble around um, people being kicked out of their homes um, in, in certain areas around Belfast um, and I think at that time, there were quite a few groups that were formed to try and tackle that. That was all a grassroots movement of, clearly we have an issue here that, that we need to focus on. The foundation is being laid right now. Uh, I sit on several forums uh, within the South Belfast area dealing with anti-racism, hate crimes and community relations. And the aim is to work not only for the betterment of the Muslim community, but the betterment of everybody within the area. Uh, the challenges that we face are acceptance mainly and respect and the respect of our religion uh, because uh, we find that uh, there's a lot of uh, hate crime abuse. The way forward to tackling hate crime and all the problems that we face is through education. Uh, we have to reach to the schools, we have to reach to the youth groups to make people aware that when you, when you put somebody through that kind of a crime, it, it just wrecks your life. If we can pass this along to everybody and make people, in, uh, the young people especially, in Northern Ireland aware of what hate crimes does, then maybe we can slowly reduce it to a minimum again. The aim of our project really is to um, support minority ethnic here in Belfast, reduce their fear of crime, support them in accessing housing and policing services, and also improve communications between statutory agencies. Uh, there are some problems that some Polish people may encounter. The emotional scar and emotional turmoil that they have in their minds afterwards is really great. The biggest barriers that the Chinese community faces would be um, language barrier, isolation, having the fear to report crime and not knowing where to report the crime or how to do it. People would shout at them and um, use words that they shouldn't be using but they just see it as an everyday thing now because they're so used to it. Our role really is to let them know that this is not acceptable and this is racial abuse. So we try to make our make everybody aware that if they can call us 24 hours a day. So I think that's very helpful because they can feel a little bit safer knowing that there is somebody who will pick up the phone and will you know, start all the action to help. I have supported people for a range of issues, whether it's trouble from neighbours to um, a, a young uh, student girl walking home after an evening out being uh, stabbed in the hand with a broken bottle. All of these things qualify as hate incidents and people put up with an awful lot of abuse because of their sexual orientation or their chosen gender identity and they don't realise that there are things um, in place that can support them. One of the exciting things about um, our role being set up by the likes of the police and the city council and the housing executive is that these civic leaders are taking an interest in changing those perceptions and beliefs and attitudes in society. We've got a very progressive uh, community safety um, aspect in terms of policing and the council and they are really interested in hearing back from the community about things that could be done better in terms of the right language to be used, in terms of making people feel safe when they are phoning up to report or to make a statement. People just maybe don't really understand or don't really know what it means to be gay or bisexual or lesbian or what it means to be a transgender person. And once you start to answer those questions, once you start to make that a normal part of everyday discourse, then that becomes something that people understand understand and know about more and are more familiar with. 
The fact that Belfast Pride was counted as one of Belfast City Council's key annual festivals this year is the first time that that's ever happened and, and that's really, really good progress. I'm a transgendered person who wishes to live a normal life as female, but uh, in our society at the moment that is difficult. Hence the reason I'm, I've asked for my face to be blacked out because society over here is just not accepting as much as we, we would hope and the consequences of me being recognised uh, are far reaching, maybe lose my job or have difficulty uh, in my own community. I am trying to raise profile of the Belfast Butterfly Club, the profile of transgender people to try and educate different organisations, government agencies and society as well. All I can ask of the general public is to be sympathetic and understanding to transgender people. When transgender people go out, they literally go out with fear and apprehension. Do your bit to make society a lot more tolerant towards us and a lot more accepting so we can be normal citizens that can take part in the life of this city. BCRC basically has a two-pronged approach in the implementation of, of the work that we do. One would be to reduce tensions at interface areas and to put in place mechanisms and networks that will deal effectively with um, issues like hidden tensions, putting in early warning systems, lending support to local residents that are living on the coalface. I suppose a more strategic footing of the work that BCRC would do would be to, to create opportunities for dialogue. Um, wherein residents can engage around issues of common concern. I think Belfast is a more welcoming place. There is positive strides being taken. Attitudes are changing and they're changing for the better. Disabled people are often seen as vulnerable. They're seen as very different. For example, if you have a communication issue, if you're deaf and use sign language, that can be seen by some people as very threatening. If you have a learning disability, it's quite easy um, to pick on some people who are living in isolated areas and I don't mean not in towns, I mean that they're isolated in terms of their social interaction. I mean the, the latest discussion is about mate crime uh, in terms of people with learning disabilities where uh, people who have never had friends, uh, people befriend them and suddenly they become either personal slaves, uh, they're treated despicably, those kinds of things. The positive things are that, that this issue is now on the table, that uh, the authorities are looking at how to uh, deal with reporting of incidents and dealing with hate crime and naming it because often naming it is the big issue. We've still a lot of work to do with disabled people to make them feel confident enough that they'll be treated well by the authorities when they do report. That's where we need to put our efforts in the future. Pace not to take hate crime very seriously. We were aware of there's an underreporting of all types of hate crime. That does give us some, some concern now. Police have got what's called, called hate incident minority liaison officers. And after every report of a hate crime, in addition to the investigation, we have an officer who goes out and speaks to the victim and signposts them to other support agencies that there are for each community. We want to show the, 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 the people who are victims or potential victims of hate crime that the majority of people in Northern Ireland are opposed to any form of hate crime. That's totally unacceptable and uh, that's why we encourage people to report it so we can bring those to justice who suffered upon others. So what is the future for Belfast? Population change, continued regeneration, movement towards sharing space, commitment to support all our communities dealing with change, initiatives such as tension monitoring, advocacy, training, a hate crime and cohesion strategy, criminal justice system becoming more victims focused, good relations, empowering established communities, working together with common goals, supporting new communities.